Welcome to our channel. Anna D. Armas and Chris Evans in Ghosted On Screen Press. How can a person who travels so much that their only indoor plant option is a cactus date someone who keeps being rejected because they are too needy and clingy? By acting as a made-up pair in a romantic action comedy in Hollywood. In Ghosted, Anna de Armas plays top spy Sadie, who is experiencing a bit of an existential crisis as a result of her lonesome existence and believes that adding a low-maintenance plant could bring some warmth to her sterile, depressing home. Cole Turner, a lovely farmer she encounters at. The two embark on a really special date after meeting at the farmer's market. When Sadie doesn't reply to his texts for many days, Cole decides to surprise her as a grand gesture by flying out of the country. However, Cole soon finds himself in the middle of a life-threatening adventure when Sadie turns out to be a spy sought after by international criminals. Ghosted, which is directed by Dexter Fletcher and written by Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Chris McKenna, begins as a pleasant contemporary romantic comedy. Chris Evans and Anna de Armas' chemistry as a lovely on-screen couple in Ghosted adds sweetness to the film. The Gray Man was their first action movie together before The Gray Man and they. The two embark on a really special date after meeting at the farmer's market. When Sadie doesn't reply to his text for many days, Cole decides to surprise her as a grand gesture by flying out of the country. However, Cole soon finds himself in the middle of a life-threatening adventure when Sadie turns out to be a spy sought after by international criminals. Ghosted, which is directed by Dexter Fletcher and written by Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Chris McKenna, begins as a pleasant contemporary romantic comedy. Chris Evans and Anna de Armas' chemistry as a lovely on-screen couple in Ghosted adds sweetness to the film. The Gray Man was their first action movie together before The Gray Man, and they destruction. A bust pursuit scene of a perilous mountain trail is among the chase scenes with some of the best action cinematography. The majority of the film is set in Pakistan, although one market scene appeared to be from the 19th century rather than today. It appears that Western producers are still having trouble imagining underdeveloped countries as though they are trapped in the bubonic plague era due to the special effects and the gloomy, dingy tone, which made the settings look incredibly false. The numerous tiny appearances by well-known performers, the majority of whom have been in hit action movies, are Ghosted's most entertaining features. Consider Sebastian Stan, has a fun blink, and Miss Cameo as a contract killer, which will excite his Captain America fans. The main adversary in this movie is Adrian Brody, who played Arthur Miller in the Marilyn Monroe biopic Blonde and romanced Anna de Armas as her. As the renegade French spy Levick, Adrian is chick and melancholy. With an almost two-hour running duration, Ghosted loses its humor in the final 30 minutes as more emotional situations and arguing take place, and the background music must be one of the laziest song collections I've ever heard. It seems like they simply chose a few well-known songs from TikTok or Instagram and dispersed them at random throughout the runtime. Several of the, while most of the tunes are well-placed and add to the ambience, a couple of them sound entirely out of place. Because both movies' climaxes take place in a luxurious hotel and feature a lot of money, firearms, and murders, I was reminded of the finale of Murder Mystery 2 during the chaotic climax. The film would have been far more engaging if Dexter Fletcher and crew could have condensed Ghosted to a 90-minute running time rather than prolonging it to over two hours. Fans of action romantic comedies will still like it as a one-time viewing, though. Chris Evans and Anna de Armas ought to collaborate more frequently. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.